Do you have land without a title? Or land not in your names? And yet you want to own this land with a title in your names so that you can go to a bank and borrow money, for instance? Then you need to register this land by means of getting a title in your names. Felix in Sibirwa has acquired a title for a piece of land upcountry and has tested the process there. You need to start from the rock ground, a place with the committees, the staff that are called area lands committees. First of all, scheduling a meeting with that committee takes ages. And we are talking of a, a scenario where you actually need this money to process the title and go and have your business done. That could take you a year or less if things move quickly. But let's move to Kampala, which affects other jurisdictions like Mukono and Wakiso. In order to get your land registered, you start here at the land office to get it valued by the government valuer. The chief government valuer gives a tax value where he, they will value the, the property based on the information you have put on that paper. Hmm? The size and the location, everything, they, they has a value. Then the ping pong starts, next with a visit to the URA office to pay. I mean, you would pick it from the chief government valuer's office, take it to URA and wait for them to do the assessment. Then you take it back to the chief government valuer's desk. They, they, do the, they do their part. They are supposed to send it by email, the other side, which they do, to, to confirm the information. Then you also take back this real paper you are carrying. You are not carrying a paper. You take it back the other side. To, to, to URA. If you did not grasp that, you make two trips to the land's valuer and two to the URA offices. I will promise you, you have to have dedicated time to do that. That's why we use, sometimes we use agents. I'm, a, I'm, a real, I'm in real estate, I buy and sell land. So I have my people who do that for me. It is followed by oiling the chain with bribes scattered across. Because if I came in to the same desk, and I meet a clerk who is doing a job and I want my document done faster. I'll find a way of tipping the clerk and my job is done faster. The demands are too many. Every desk you go to, people are demanding for Chintu Chidogo. You have to give something to get something. This is what partly comprises the high cost of doing business in this country, leaving the government's work still cut out. Some of Setumba NTV business.